going on, Odoers, and welcome back. If you've ever tried to schedule a quick call but ended up juggling five or more tools just to get started, then you know how clunky communication can get. With Odoo Discuss, calling a teammate or even an external contact is fast, simple, and happens right inside of your workflow. No switching between apps, no setup delays, just a click, connect, and go. In Odoo, communication happens alongside your day-to-day -day work, so when something comes up, it's easy to take action without missing a beat. That being said, let's jump into our database and see what this all looks like. Okay, here I am in our CRM dashboard, and I'm just reviewing our pipeline. I just remembered I need to loop in Jose to talk about the ReadyMat lead, which is no problem at all. With Odoo Discuss, I can create a group chat in seconds. If I click this top right bubble chat icon, I can select my conversation with Josh Baker, and then next to Josh's name, I'm just going to click this little down arrow icon and then select invite people. And then here, I'll just select Jose and then click create group chat. The conversation has now been created, so let's check it out in the discuss app. Of course, I can go back to our original home screen, click the discuss module icon, but we can also jump to that app by clicking this down arrow right here and then clicking on open and discuss. To keep things organized, I'll also add a quick description to the top, which is ready mat opportunity. Now everybody involved in this chat knows exactly what this chat is for. If I want to double check who's in this chat or see who's online, I can simply just click this members icon right here. And here we'll see everybody who's included in this group chat. And we could also see who's online represented by the green color and who's offline represented by the white. Need to bring in more folks? No problem at all. We can just click this invite user button once again. And if I want to invite somebody outside my company, like a sales contact from ReadyMat, I can generate a public link to this chat. I can click invite user and then just copy this link right here. Now let's jump into another window and see what this link looks like on their side. As soon as somebody opens that link, they're taken to this page right here. And from here, the rep just types in their name. Let's say, Julian, and then clicks the arrow. Once they click the arrow, they join the chat instantly. It's a very similar view to what we see, but it is limited to only the conversations that they are a part of. Now we're going to hop back into our main browser to see what it looks like on our end. Now that we're back, I can see that everybody has been added to this conversation, including our guest Julian. Now I can start a voice call simply by clicking this phone icon here at the top of the bar. And the moment I do, the live conference technically begins. Everybody in this group will hear a ringing sound in the Discuss app, and they'll need to accept the call to join. Once they do, we'll all be connected in the same voice or video meeting. Now, while the call is active, we get the usual controls. We have our microphone mute button here. We also have a deaf end control. We have the ability to turn our camera on or off. We have our screen share button. And of course, we have our end call. We need to invite somebody who's not already a part of this conversation. All we have to do is click this invite user button right here, and that'll bring them into the same call. Or if I want to start a meeting from scratch, I can also just click this start meeting button here on the left side of the discuss sidebar and manually select users to join. And if we need more options, we can just click this menu icon right here, and that'll give us the ability to raise our hand in the event we need to get people's attention without butting into the conversation quite yet. And we also have our full screen option right here. Now let's turn this into a video call by clicking this camera icon. And when we do, under the same three dot menu icon, we have the ability to raise our hand once again or even blur our background. And if we exit our full screen, we can still send messages during the call so we don't have to interrupt or we can even use this paperclip icon to drop a quick file or update if needed. And of course, when we're done, all we have to do is click this end call button. And that's a wrap. So whether you're checking in with a teammate or jumping on a call with a client, Odoo Discuss makes it all seamless. No toggling between tools, no scheduling headaches, just quick integrated communication right where your work is happening. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.